Chapter 6, General Anatomy. Anatomy is the scientific study of the shape and structure of the human body. It's important for the dental assistant as a healthcare professional to understand the basic structure and shape of the human body. Anatomical terms may be understood for communication in the profession's perspective. General anatomy. Basic anatomical references planes and body directions, structural units, body cavities, and body regions. Planes and body directions. Anatomical position is the body standing erect, feet together and the arms hanging at the sides with the palms facing forward. The sagittal plane is a vertical plane dividing the body from top to bottom and into left and right sections. The mid-sagittal plane is a vertical dividing the body into equal left and right halves. The horizontal plane divides the body into superior, upper, and inferior, lower portion. The frontal plane divides the body into anterior, front, and posterior, back portion. Structural units, cells, tissues, organs, and body systems. Starting off with cells. Cells are the basic units of structure in the human body. They react to stimuli, transform nutrients into energy, grow, and reproduce. The term for specialization of cells is differentiation. The human body contains many types of cells, each with a purpose. Stem cells, immature, unspecialized cells in the body, can be induced to become other types of cells in the body. There are two primary sources of stem cells, embryonic stem cells and adult stem cells. Embryonic stem cells, they come from embryos that develop from eggs that have been fertilized in a test tube and then are used for research purposes. They are not derived from eggs fertilized in a woman's body. Currently, there are no approval treatments or human trials using embryonic stem cells in the United States. Adult stem cells. They can be found in tissues of both adults and children. Stem cells from bone marrow have been used in bone marrow transplant procedures for many years. Adult stem cells are also found in blood, skin, dental pulp, the retina, skeletal muscle, and the brain. Cell membrane. The cell membrane surrounds the cell body and serves two purposes. Structural, which separates the contents of the cell from the surrounding environment, and semi-permeable, permeable, allows nutrients to pass through and waste products to leave. Cytoplasm. It's a gelatinous fluid inside the cell. It contains organelles. Organelles modify, store, and transport proteins and dispose of cellular waste. Nucleus. The control center of the cell directs the, metabo the metabolic activities of the cell. The nucleus of every cell, except mature red blood cells, contains a complete set of the body's chromosomes. The chromosomes contain DNA and RNA, two chemicals that carry all genetic information. What is the portion of the cell that carries the genetic information called? It is called the nucleus. Tissues. They're formed when many millions of cells with the same shape, size, structure, and function join together to perform a specific fun function for the body. Types of tissues. There's epithelial tissues, which are external, skin or internal body surfaces, mouth, intestines, and so on. I don't know if you guys have ever seen those, um, like, CSI shows, you know, crime scene investigations. Usually what they're searching for, besides obvious clues, are epithelial um, uh, evidence, which means 
that it's like dead skin cells. Um, if it's like a, you know, like a rape victim, they try to look under the fingernails of the victim to see if there's any skin from the from the attacker, et cetera. Um, also, when you go take a DNA test or anything like that, they swab the inside of your mouth because they're using those epithelial tissues. Um, connective tissue includes fat, tendons, and ligaments. Muscle tissue are voluntary, um, hence like the ones in the arms and the legs, and involuntary, which is heart, lungs, and stomach, because the heart, the lungs, and the stomach, you can't control it. Um, they do their own thing pretty much. And nerve tissue includes the brain, spinal cord, and the nerves. What are the four types of tissue in the human body? Okay, they're epithelial, muscle, connective, and nerve. Organs. Organs are formed when several types of tissues become a group. Organs perform a single function. Organs contain each of the four tissue types. We already said nerve, connective, muscle, or epithelial. The body system. A body system is composed of a group of organs working together to perform a major function. For example, the digestive system. Um, it's, it includes the esophagus, the stomach, the small and the large intestines. Body cavities. The two main body cavities are the dorsal, which is the back of the body, and it's divided into the cranial cavity and the spinal cavity, and then the ventral, which is the front of the body. It's subdivided into the thoracic cavity and the abdominal pelvic cavity, and the thoracic cavity contains the heart, the lungs, the esophagus, and the trachea. The abdominal cavity houses the stomach, the liver, the gallbladder, the spleen, and most of the intestines. And then the pelvic cavity contains portions of the small and large intestines, the rectum, the urinary bladder, and internal reproductive organs. Okay, body regions. The, ac the axial division, which is head, neck, and trunk, and then appendicular region, which are the arms or the legs, and those are uh, considered like the limbs. Okay, what are the two major body cavities? Okay, we said they're the dorsal, okay, which is the back of the body, and then the ventral, which is the front of the body. 